it was written on a caption but i think it was maybe the day before the inquest where mobad's mom came out and she said um mobad died because of like a drug deal with the oba sam larry and naira marley so i'm asking if you've seen that and if that's true or not uh i have not seen my mom that's a good question uh, with the IPO Muhammad question, um, I think it was at the maybe at the courts or uh, at the inquest. It was telling me Iwo. I think they said he actually spoke Yoruba Iwo Iwo or Betofigumo badge. Or maybe it was the person that was telling me that was just telling me in Yoruba. Maybe they were just telling me in Yoruba. Or Betofigumo badge walowowa. Or Betofigumo badge walowowa. So I don't know if. You know how he said it. I'm gonna to have to research that and call the informant and see if uh, we can get that clarified. If he speaks Yoruba or Awusa or how that went. Okay, there was never an issue with Obe or something like that until I think of those boys that I was talking about Obe Makinje, and uh, I'm not really very interested in that conversation of Obe Makinje. So um, that is that. Then with the other question, to be honest with you, personally, I don't pay my mom about any attention. I know there's something in the uh, punch that came out late last night or early this morning. I have not personally uh, read it. One, because today is my birthday. I've just been doing some other things. I've not really had the time. But my mom mobile is not very... Not very. In, it's one thing is for you not to be educated, but you you are intelligent and smart. You don't, you know. But another thing is to not just have both. You are not educated. You don't have no intelligence, no common sense. So I put her in that kind of category. So um, I've yeah, not. Yeah, Lady Aries, you're right. I I don't really pay no attention to her. I was just curious, and I have another question. To replace the Mama Mobad question. And you really don't need to read the punch letter. Mama Mobad just basically confessed. Um, my other question is, is it possible now that you, uh, the San and Baba Mobad's team are under one accord? Is it possible for, because I understand that we, we can't take this case outside of Nigeria and we can't just like, like, we have to wait for the inquest to finish before we attack. So is it possible to, during this time for both teams, or should I say one team, everyone to just, you know, getting the best of the best on the, on the line. So when it's time to go to criminal court, we can just like hand out jail sentences to everyone down to the inquest judge, to the janitor at the inquest judge. Is that possible? Yeah, I think it's possible. I will bring this up with the uh, with the team, and we will discuss it. Um, I think it's possible. Yes, I think it's possible. And Lady Aries, like, I don't know. This is just so crazy, crazy to me. Like, I don't know why every time I hear about the inquest, I'm hearing new and new things. I don't know why. I wish I was there so that nobody could be able to tell me anything. Because the fact that you said that um, uh, someone in the comments was like the IPO like brought this up in the inquest. How is so? If 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 if, if there's a, a a murder weapon, then I don't understand why we've been suffering for six months. And it's crazy because everybody calls Auntie Kemi crazy, but I'm gonna stand with Auntie Kemi. Like she had made a tweet months ago saying that there's a weapon and there's um a dna of the bad and the person who used it so this is just like crazy to actually see it but like i don't understand how that is possible like i wonder when did they get this weapon who gave it to them like th like this is honestly crazy it's crazy it's very crazy and all of a sudden out of the blue and yeah i think they said it was at the inquest he said that 
uh, all of a sudden there's a weapon that appeared from somewhere. I'm going to say it here in, just in case anybody um, listening to me have access to, I have all of their phone numbers, but uh, I don't want to call them or anything like that. But if anybody is speaking to them, they should just make sure they tell um Prime boy, be careful with your fingerprints. Don't hold something so they don't lift your fingerprint and say, hey, we lifted your fingerprint from this knife. So be careful with everything you do. Be cautious. Be, be legally conscious of your steps and your doing. And that is why I don't know the people that are telling you to do your TikTok and come on live. But if that is what is giving you sanity, we cannot take that away from you either. But I want you to know you have a case and you have to be extremely careful with everything you do and say. Make sure nobody say, ah, Joe, help me hold this thing. Then you have your fingerprints, rubber stamp to it and stuff like that. Be cautious of your environment. Be street smart and be observant. That would be my little sense advice to you okay and that is it so that you know if you if you are guilty yes you will go in for it but if you are not guilty you know oyeki alaishe kokusi eshe so we should not send the wrong person to jail so that's my advice for you now i want to talk briefly on spending that is why I have been telling people to soft pedal on spending. People said he lied, he's compromised, he's, uh, and the list continues. Uh, he played the script, he, he did something. This, the list continued of what he did. Um, I am not saying anybody is wrong. Everybody is entitled to their own opinion. But the description of what happened at the court that day is a cardinal sign of a panic attack medically okay when you when you start feeling heat and we were told he had on a hoodie we were told he had on a mask mask make you sweat we were told there was no ventilation there was no light no fan no nothing this boy is only a 23 24 year old boy he has never been subjected to such pressure being in a mother case you know almost like standing in front of a judge then he managed to gather himself and he was talking and the judge said okay calm down calm down talk to me calm down while he was talking is he, he went into a panic mode so I, i'm not saying it wasn't a script but I'm saying that we should be very careful because they said, and he was also fasting, as we were told. We should be very, very careful. I'm not saying we are wrong. It could be a script, yes. It could be everything. It could be everything and anything that was listed, all of the above. But I will tell you the cardinal signs of a panic attack is when you start swearing and shaking or shivering, throwing up and stuff like that. When you are subjected, even sometimes I think the last time I felt that way maybe thirty something years ago when I went in front of the, uh, I have to reach the get my citizenship. You know when I was going to get my citizenship, that's how I was like shivering, shivering because you have to, you know, recite the American uh, national whatever anthem, and I memorize it. And they said if you don't say it right i was told that they won't give you your citizenship and i was panicking and fidgeting and so it's, it's a panic attack mode that is what i call it that is what i call it because this is only a 23 year old boy or young man under that kind of you know subjected to that kind of condition plus the fact that they said he was scared no security and no nothing and stuff like that so all of those put together i i personally we cut her a slack i am not saying she, he is not guilty and i am not saying he is guilty i am just analyzing his signs and symptoms that was displayed it's a cardinal sign of a panic attack so i will leave that at that now, when uh, when 
Prime Boy was released way back then in January, I believe. Yes. We did tell them to uh, people that were connected to these people to take them to the public sign so that he can get a a documented testimony from them and it can also give them an order of protection. Um, they didn't show up to go. They did not show up to go, especially Prime Boy was specifically, because I Prime Boy was spe specifically uh, requested to go. They did not go. Can the public lawyers tip give them that uh, leeway for public... Um, order of protection i don't know we can find out they need to apply for it because there is something they call a witness or suspect protection act that has to be put um that can that have to be or that can be put provided by the government if you requested that okay so 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 because these are key key suspects or key witnesses whatever they want to call them i think they are they were detained because they said they are suspects so we can call them suspects so and people should not be angry that they were bailed if they did not meet their bail condition and it is not okay for them to be bailed they will not be released and because they are bailed does not mean they are not guilty or they are innocent and does not mean they are free i don't know if we remember babai jesha case he was bailed he went home because you have the human rights it's your constitutional rights if they arrest you for something they have to charge you within 48 to 72 hours i believe and don't quote me on that but you have to be charged maybe maximum 48 hours i'm not so sure and you have to and if you are not charged they have to release you because they cannot just put you in incarceration forever without taking you to court so they were really that's the same reason why naramali and samilari were released if we remember at a point uh naramali and samilari said they are going to sue the government because the judge said they can only be reprimanded for 23 days or 21 days but then they were staying there longer and the government really need, needed to release them right away they needed to release them right away okay because you, you need to know your rights also you really need to know your rights in order for you to ask the appropriate question you need to be knowledgeable about it in order for you to ask the appropriate questions so that was why naramali and saimnari were also released the same thing applied to every one of them but Baba Jesha was uh, arrested. I think he was there for a long time. They protested. Some people don't want him released. I remember your Mifabi then was like running a protest that he needs to be released or you charge him to court. Eventually, they released him. But when his court case started, he started going to court from home. And when he got his judgment, he was detained and he was jailed. So because they release you today does not mean that you cannot still come back and be jailed if found guilty after your court case. Do we understand? Any question in the comment section that I can answer to the best of my ability? Uh, lovely, do you have any question or do you understand? Spending was asked to come back, so we got spending also, which I see. I understand, but it's possible since he didn't know what's cooking. I don't, yes, please, kindly repeat Prime Boy. Kindly repeat Prime Boy. Wait a minute. Oh, Bella Novel, you use my big profile picture as your profile. I was like, ah, it looks like that's me in that profile. Did I type something? Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you for that. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you, Bella Novel. I was like, ah, and it was a picture. I didn't know that was me. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. With Prime Boy, you want me to uh, repeat Prime Boy? Which aspects? Is it the Obama Kenje? The finger stuff? Oh, I, I said the fingerprint. I said that 
he should be careful about his fingerprints, what he touches and people around him, so that they will not capture or lift his fingerprints and then go and say, oh, these are the fingerprints we lifted from the Obama Koeje. So that, you know, people will not rob him in a case that, or in, a, you know, that in something he did not commit. Because IPO Mohammed said they have the murder weapon that Prime Boy used to stab Mobad. And we know that is untrue, allegedly, because there was, when, when the CP, those, uh, CP, or something like that, when he read the uh, report that he told us then, he did not say anything about Obama Obe that he was stabbed. He said Mobad hit his hand in the Prado glass. So where did IPO Mohammed, where did he see the, or what, what mother knife was he talking about? So that's why I'm warning or just educating Prime Boy to be very careful. Don't say, oh, help me hold my phone, then give it back to me and then just be, he has a criminal case, a murder case at hand. He needs to be very careful. And I also said that if I am his legal counsel, I will tell him to stay off social media completely but it's, you know, we have to balance it. If that is what is giving him sanity, then we can't take that away from him because he needs his sanity. So that's what I'm saying. He just needs to watch because, you know, uh, things you say on social media, I learned now can be used against you, especially in murder cases especially in mother cases because i know there was a was it not 2019 you know when very close to my neighbor were not too close to me anyway there was the guy this guy that was saying something i think they have actually legalized it in the states because people go to their computer they will be how to make bombs how to do all of these things they will check your computer they will go ahead and check your computer and see what you have been typing, what you have been researching. So those things now in the in the United States, they they can use them against you. What you type or say on social media can be used against you. At least I know of that in the United States. They can be and will be used against you. Because you cannot just be and confess a mother or in your social media and you say, ah, it's just social media now. Ah, I can no. We all have to be careful in all our daily livings. That is why it is of paramount importance that we speak the truth at all times. At all times. So that's what I was saying about, um, sweetie, do you understand me now? Lady Aries, um, I have a question and then I just want to um, just round up on my thoughts. My first question is, um, well, not really a question, just maybe an advice. Um, you see, Lady Aries, I love how you think because I also think like that. I'm also, we can't just think in a box to be able to get this justice from a bad. I mean, we're dealing with people who have bodies. Like, just, just think about all the Mobads out there that we don't know. I think Lady Aries is on, um, pause. I hope she can still hear me, but um, Susie, I know you can talk to Lady Aries about what I'm saying. If anyone is listening, y'all can tell her. Um, but I just want Aries to, um, Aries, wh whoever is in contact with this sand, you guys should also be, um, you guys should also tell this sand to look into, I don't know, like, there has to be some type of device that can be able to maybe tell if a fingerprint was planted on there because if i'm not mistaken i mean of course prime boy's fingerprints are going to be in a car that he entered in so i just want you guys to talk to the legal team about 
you know, if that comes our way, how can we verify? Because if his uh, fingerprints are on there, how can we verify that they're on there? Like that it wasn't planted. And also, I want to say a little bit about spending. I'm not going to drag spending or or anyone. I'm not even know she Lady Aries, can you hear me? Now I can. Before we could not. Okay, um, I want to ask a question and then I just want to round up my thoughts. Well, it's not really a question. It's kind of like a suggestion. Um, Lady Aries, I do love how you think because me too. I do think that way. And a lot of people think that we have to be thinking inside of the box to be able to take these criminals down who have bodies and bodies on them. But I understand and I know you understand that we have to think outside of the box to be, to bring down criminals. So I want you to speak to the sand about, cause I know like they're like living in the world in 2024, I know there's something for everything. So um, when you guys do get a hold of the murder weapon, when we're more, you know, later down in the case, um, I think you should speak to the sand about maybe seeing if there's some type of like device out there just to because if Prime Boy's fingerprints are on there, we need another way of confirming. And yes, we have to double back on every evidence they provide on us. We're going to have to do our own, you know, verification because we've been lied to this whole time. And I want to make a suggestion about the IPO when it's time for us to drag him. Um, one of the questions we should be asking him is where did he get this weapon? Who gave it to him? How did he get it? And when did he get it? And exactly. my regards to any suspects, well, spending in Prime Boy, I'm not going to personally drag either because i'm tired of dragging i've been dragging in the comment section writing novels for half a year now <laughs> um i'm getting tired my fingers hurt you know so but what people don't understand is like me personally if i have to chase anyone to get this justice from Obad, it's not gonna sit well in my spirit you know a lot of people don't know that Baba Mobad's legal team offered some type of like you know uh protection like how you just said like they offered it and none of them showed up so i feel like the public should understand that we cannot chase these people they're gonna come to us when it's time you know and yeah. justice for Mobad, we're gonna get it i feel it now now that this sand is here i can breathe i can breathe so i'm excited <laughs> justice for the future. must get thank justice you. must get thank you lovely oh a wonderful lovely contributions this is what this platform is all about it's about our wisdom talk with lady aries wisdom talk with lady aries i don't want to do dragging i know we did a little bit of that at the initial stage but that's bygone now. So, uh, Lady Aries, my question, what is going on on DNA? Um, DNA is a civil case for now. They are handling it under the civil case. And they said they've been unable to serve Wumi. And when there are procedures that you take when you don't see to serve somebody in anything, even if it is... Uh, if you want to eject your tenants, if you don't see your tenants to eject them from the house, uh, you still have to go through some other step. You will go to court, you will go through some things, then they will give you the options either to post it uh, on the door, to give it to her lawyer. You will have to probably publish it in the newspapers, in some well-known newspapers, maybe one, maybe two, maybe three, depending on what the judge is going to say. So I think now they have submitted that application to do that and they are waiting for a response according to what I was told because we didn't do it, um, Baba's team did it. But according to what the lawyers told me this morning, that is the stage they are. So it should be coming out shortly, hopefully before the end of this week. That one will be put in perspective. You are very welcome for me, cute. Uh, anybody that wants to come up and ask any questions, please follow 
follow my page, uh, love, like, and share, follow my page, follow Susan for justice and engine room for justice. We are all in one team on Ada Universe team. And we have Queen up here and Eastwood. Thank you. Um, any other questions, any other clarifications that we can answer to the best of our ability? Any other question? Did I miss a question in the comment section? Uh, I'm so happy the lawyer didn't give up, even though they rejected him in the beginning. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so happy to... We got a lot of calls, a lot of threats that, okay, back out, back down, back off. Baba said, we don't need you. But at the end of it, we thank God everything is ending in praise and justice we must get. Inshallah, in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, I'm so happy. Generous Queen, thank you for that question and thank you for that comment. Actually, it's a comment, not a question. Thank you very much. Any other question? Angie Romy, you have anything to say? Papariano predicted this. Oh, yeah, but that's why I like Papariano's platform. Papariano predicted it. Yes, 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 he did. I mean, it's it's just um, mm -hmm. when, you, when you have logic reasoning, it doesn't take a rocket science to know. When you have logic reasoning, it doesn't take a rocket science to know that. Only abati. She abati to to change your rukoni. O to change only abati and see. Abati, do you want to come up? You will you behave? You do you have any questions? Let me know. I think um uh, looking forward um I think justice is on the way by the special grace of God. Although you know there could be some um hindrances, stumbling blocks, but that doesn't, you know, stop us from getting this justice. It's a must and it must be gotten. Either the enemy likes it or not, yes. we are going to get this justice by his grace. And, you know, from what is happening so far, even from the police station now, we could, you know, say, and for me, we should be, you know, observing what is going on from the courts everything every moves everything must be be put into um, con consideration right now we should be very very observant and um, we should just watch out for any any wrong moves because um i would say there should be maximum security right now next court hearing we wouldn't mind if they need um um gas you know to 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 be used on the generator if they need pure water or bottled water or whatever they need i think everything must be provided we don't want any itch we don't want any excuses from no angle like yeah the, the we, we were asked anytime from two we should turn off the generator we don't want that if you turn off your generator then we supply you with gas to fill the generator then that continues if you need water, it will be provided. Whatever they think, you know, whatever excuses they want to get to stop this, um, the court proceedings or, you know, to, to, or to, to shorten the time. We wouldn't mind this time around to provide for them whatever they want so that this thing must, you know, we have to proceed. It must move forward and every moves in that court premises should be, should be, should be under surveillance you know whatever that might want to happen or any kind of intimidation from whichever angle must be submitted to the public notice you know of course there will be intimidation i won't dispute that and uh, there could be there could be threats to life too happening you know secretly then that nobody will notice you know so we should be very observant. There should be maximum security. Everyone going into the court premises should be inspected okay. now. Yes. Henceforth, I think that should be, you know, that should be that should be considered anyway. Let me put it that way. I don't even think if yeah. they have a metal detector, 
going into the courts. I don't even think they do that. No, 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 no. You know, it's just if, if, if we try to, you know, watch the videos of um, people, you know, going in there, there is nothing like security. We, they have no security. How would they be able to have all, all that kind of instrument? They mm -hmm. don't have those gadgets. I think they don't have the gadgets mm -hmm. ready-made there, you know. Um, but right now everyone has to you know get their own they have to get their individual security if nothing of such is provided by the court so there should be maximum security especially for the witnesses oh, okay. because anything yeah. could happen there they could be intimidated they could be you know they could be threatened even if it's not public, secretly, they could be threatened, you know. One cannot say if, if from the other side, you know, anything could happen from the other side, you know. They could send anybody to threaten, to intimidate, you know. We just have to be very careful. And every move must be monitored, no matter what happened now. I think the next um, court case, there should be provision for security i would yes. i will say it again for those witnesses because i won't call those people yeah. suspects they are witnesses the real suspects are there walking around gallivanting everywhere That's a shame nothing has been done to them you know but those that are not directly involved are the one being you know intimidated accused wrongly well we're watching anyway we're watching god help us amen 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 um miss angelo i still have another question for you here in the comment section uh somebody said for me cute said lady aries please oh no not that one uh where is the question immortalization immortalization uh, Lady Aries, please, do you know the well-being of princess? Do yeah, you? princess is um, under um, recovery mode. She's recuperating, but, you know, she just have to, to recuperate. And until everything is calm with her, then she could come out and, you know, speak again. But for right now, as we're speaking, we just have to allow her, you know, recover smoothly and calmly that's it okay thank you very much uh sweetie okay. sweetie um you said really the police said they are suspects and you call them witness interesting uh sweetie everybody's individual opinion okay uh, i'm the not police... twisting what the police have said don't get me wrong but what from what has played out so far we have suspects we have witnesses okay and i think the main suspects are the one gallivanting everywhere exactly in the case of prime boy prime boy didn't follow them home prime boy didn't know what actually happened to mobad so why would you say that is a suspect and also for what's his name spending he gave out the, the, the phone number of the nurse. He never had anything to do with his, you know, whatever that happened. I'm not saying, he, you know, I'm not trying to support them or, you know, I mean, try to hide them from whatever happened. But we actually understand what is playing out right now. What about Darosha? What is he doing? Darosha the Embama. What about Wumi herself? that was a, a a keen you know witness to everything from beginning to the end what's she doing why has she not been arrested just the way prime boy and, uh, and spending has been arrested that's why i said those people that are really involved to the core are there without being arrested okay so don't twist my word please i'm not saying what the police said is wrong but I'm trying to compare, compare the, the, the level of, you know, the level of um, activities carried out there. That's what I mean, please. Yes, and in order, to, let me support what uh, NG Room for Justice said. 
I've forgotten the name of the person that um, typed that question. Let me suppose uh, that question probably might have come from uh, Justice for Mobad from Tim Wumi um, side. And you said uh, the police called them with suspects and you are calling them witnesses. Yes, but also the police said Mobad bled profusely. And you guys don't want to believe that side. You are saying the police are not saying the truth because Wumi said there was only a scant blood. Quote unquote by Tob Tobriski, he said it was just the menstrual blood. So you don't have to pick and choose what the police said, the part that you will believe or not believe, number one. Number two, what she said, or what I say when I call Wumi the prime suspect, and I'm not taking that back. Those are what they call individual public opinion. Individual public opinion. So it, she is not out of character to say that. Okay, uh, I've forgotten uh, who typed that question, but that is, so that is not out of character for her to say that. Police said mobile bled profusely. Where would the bleeding come from? The mouth? Where are our orifice? We have the ear, we have the nose, we have the mouth, we have the private places. That's it. Where else can you be bleeding from? If you are bleeding from any part of your skin, it has to be that you were stabbed somewhere or you caught yourself somewhere. <laughs> so is in if me a said menstrual blood and baku on the blanket. Yeah, that was from a top top movie, you know. So if you guys don't want to believe that part that the police said, you don't want to believe. But yes, when the police, the areas the police said that favors Wumi, you guys lashed onto those ones. The ones that did not favor, you guys will say, ah, eh, kiniko, kiniko. No, you can pick and choose. Okay? All right. Any other question? Lady Aries, please, do you know the... Well, okay, we've answered that question. Uh, Lady Iris, please avoid anyone trying to drag you. Thank you very much for me, cute, for that advice. You need to comprehend the question and stop trying to be funny. I think she's responding. Iris, I have not heard about her on other universe. Okay. She's fine. Uh, engine room for justice or just answer that. Then talk, say, make a legacy. Arrest all the bloggers. <laughs> They don't even have places to put them, do they? If they arrest all the bloggers in Nigeria, where would they put all of them? Uh, must tag before, okay, those are personal ones. Uh, Abati, delightful Aries, is this Madam Aries? Yes, it is. The other, My other account that I'm using to stream is Lady Aries, Wisdom Talk with Lady Aries. And this was my first account, but I couldn't bring people up on this account on delightful areas that's why i got a new one now i have three phones i feel like a a drug dealer when i'm moving the streets with three phones uh one woman is trending with that nonsense trust you have to leave this platform um i don't see any question Lady Aries, I'm so happy about this son. You wouldn't believe I am crying tears of joy. Oh, it's lovely. You are well loved. Thank you. And thank you for your strong support. You are a great people. Actually now came to favor us. It's now, it's, it's now putting a puzzle together that, okay, she was the one that said it. But let's put that one aside. When Wumi was talking about eh, Baba Mangbe girlfriend, if I was the, or let me give you this example. They asked Wumi, have you had any extramarital affair? That question was supposed to be leading to the possibility of Liam not being 
Mobas son. Uh, have you had and this question Timo Fesoi when I went to Abe when Bossman came to come here uh, Queen Victoria please come now let's go to this guest uh, this Osha's platform and stuff like that let's go and on a debate there when I'm the first soon we said please please when we went this question I asked uh, that boy that called himself white so I said when they asked Wumi have you had an extramarital affair? I said she did not respond. Ah, uh, White said, Oh, ah, oh, oh my fair respond. Ah, George Yellow Sawikbe, George Yellow Sawikbe. First of all, I don't even know if that white of a guy cannot speak English at all. Could I put a boom? Anyway, that's apart. Pay George Yellow Sawikbe, come down. Mama, George Yellow Man, come out down. Mama, George Yellow, come out down. Money, look. In course, you read everything body language, eye contact, fidgeting, you put everything in. Your silence sometimes means something. Everything comes into consideration. Money, ask me that question. Lady Aries or Aries or Queen Victoria. Have you had any any extra marital money? Absolutely not. Before you even call a fear, I will have answered you. Pay. No, absolutely not. That is ridiculous. Ah, please don't insult my personality. Do you have a lying detector? Do you want me to take a, a lie detector test? I want George Goloma with me. Ah, Tiepo. But when they asked her, have you had any extramarital affair? Oh, I'm okay. Oh, well, oh, would you? Oh, trying to. That spoke volume by itself. Now, I think the judge now said, it's not a judge. It's not really a judge. It's a magistrate. Oh, I said, well, you don't have to answer that question. It's um, personal. So then the lawyer told me the question if he was good. He will have twisted the question and stay on course. Ngotofe get from that question. He will have twisted it. But okay. Um, have you by any chance? Um, have you by any chance uh, gone out of uh, you know engage yourself with? You might not use the word uh, marital affair. He might change that marital affair to engage. Have you have any engagements with another man? You know. In a very cold, you know, something I want to twist it. Question here that even if the opponent said, Objection, my lord, you will hear objection overruled or you know, object whatever, whatever. You see what I'm saying? Then they will stay on that course. But when the lawyer, when the, when the magistrate said, nah, That is a uh, personal kini, and that killed that question, that shouldn't have killed the question. That shouldn't have killed the question. That means rephrase the question. And you use another synonyms. Instead of saying extramarital affair, you can say, have you had any engagements with another man beside your husband? You see, you will not say any sexual, they might not like that word. But you can say, have you had another engagement? Is there a possibility? Have you la bado? Have you la mayoku? Oh, have you la pio? Have you la pio? I don't know. Madaris, let me help you that question. Let me help you twist it. Please, I want to know, tell the Honorable Court, if in the past few years you have la pio pio of somebody else outside your 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 own pio pio in the house. You know now. <laughs> is it okay? <laughs> <laughs> Are you laughing? At least it's more better than the uh, her marital affairs. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. If you lap your pure of another pure pure outside of your pure pure, uh -huh. <laughs> I won't win it. <laughs> Madam Harris, I only want, want to say something fast here. I think it's the fact, the truth. The, the, the ah, bow, I inkles. We no hear you. What is happening now? What is happening? I uh, will make him leave my, my voice from you. <laughs> can you hear me, please? We can hear you now. Uh, I said, if the, the fact I think is...